Hey, how's it going? It's crafting night. <laughs> so what I what I was thinking about? Okay, what I'm thinking about doing is making pen and pencil holders with corrugated cardboard, and this is. This is not a pen or a pencil holder. This is masking tape at the bottom, and it's it's sticky. Okay. sticky. But I had my little cap, my little um, lid, I guess it is. It's this one. So I had this at the bottom, and then the other glass I was using, which is the, oh, what is it? Um, the Under Armour Thermos bottle, which is like 18 or 20 ounces, and so it's much thinner as far as the bottle goes. Uh, it fit perfectly in here, and, and that way I didn't run the risk, too, of it spilling, uh, even though I keep the cap closed all the time. So, this one, you know, I was just playing around, I thought, you know, I'm going to cover this with masking tape, and... Who knows? Maybe I'll decorate it later with actual color. <laughs> I don't know. So then I was uh, tearing apart a box and I pulled the paper off and I thought, hmm, I'm, I would like to make pen and pencil holders. This is a really wide one. And I glued it in place. Oh, man, I can't even find it. Oh, wait, right here. I think it's right here. I glued it down, and so I'm going to show you that tonight I have a whole mess of cardboard right here, varying uh, thicknesses. This is a, a thin ribbed cardboard from a box that I that I took apart the other day, and because I got a, a four tier shelf for my kitchen, and it came in this little tiny. <laughs> thin cardboard box. So I'm going to take um, the paper off of this one, I hope. <laughs> I hope I can take it off completely. And then this one, oh wait, I have this one. This one is from a Fancy Feast box and it is the hardest part I think I'm going to have, the hardest time I think I'm going to have is making the base. So my idea is to have make the base wider than than this and then not to, you know, glue it down just like that. Easy peasy, right? I thought, no, I think what I want to do is maybe fold up the cardboard. And then another thought that I had was to take the corrugated cardboard like this and this is a different color <laughs> is does that matter because later on i thought about that i thought oh uh, this is a different color mm, it's slightly darker than that but to cut this in half possibly lengthwise and then have it and have it here all right like a little like a little something <laughs> like a little cuff of sorts and that's hard to picture it like that with my mind doesn't think it's not thinking oh, <laughs> it's not thinking today i had to eat something before coming on i know that's a bad thing to do um, maybe not half i'm gonna do maybe maybe a little over not quite an inch I, I'm thinking maybe three quarters of an inch. Makes a really weird noise. That's a little crooked there, Danny. Okay, so maybe it'd be easier to picture it like this. I wonder if I could do it like this. Is this an I have an idea? Now see, Tammy. And join that together. Ooh, that's cool. We could make it like that. That's not too bad. But the, the idea 
I had in my head earlier this week was to make a cuff of sorts onto the base and then I don't know what I was thinking about this but this it has the circle right and I used this as a template and traced around it and I thought where are you going with this Tammy are you going to put this down like that as your base or are you planning was I planning to do it like that so then the inside of the base would be the corrugated cardboard I don't know if I want to if I want to do that I might just want to to use either this cardboard this little thin cardboard or one of these pieces of cardboard I haven't really had a lot of time this week to think about what I want to do with these containers and um, that's mostly because I've been setting up my classes so I'm going to I'm going to cut this okay <clears throat> That might work. Oh, I have to trace that. I I have everything out here except <laughs> a pen. I'm gonna use a black pen. Okay, today's compression gloves are these lovely, slightly brown ones. It's really, it's strange, you know, drawing on this cardboard because I can feel that corrugation underneath. Okay, cool. Once again, that'll be roughly, <laughs> roughly, overextending. Now, I could try the, the one with the corrugation. Oh, do you hear the dog? <laughs> yes, tonight you will hear the dog. He might even come over toward my direction. Since it's, uh, it's the duplex right next to me. And earlier he was right there. I felt it. I was thinking, are you in my backyard? You are so close. <laughs> I don't know what what the dog sees that's you know it could be anything <laughs> it's probably a stray cat in the, in the neighborhood or something I just figure he's protecting us all <clears throat> I'm not really crazy about uh, the dog barking when I'm trying to get to sleep because it's last night he startled me awake and I thought man <laughs> sleep I was almost asleep you know that point where you're almost asleep yeah oh that's not too bad now I could do where's my little my strip here so I could glue this at the bottom and that would actually create a thicker a thicker base there and, and that would be easier to glue down. All right, so what do I want? There, I'm gonna use my little scissors here. It's right there on the, <laughs> it's, it's right, can you see it? It's right on the little ridge there, the corrugated ridge. Did I cut this? <laughs> did I cut this one or did I cut the pencil holder? I don't know. Oh, I have to show you how to how to do the take the the thing apart. 
Okay, let me see. Uh, I'm hoping if I cut too much off, then... I think it's... I think it'll be okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is perfect. Okay. Yes! So I have that, which means I have to glue it down that way. So let's try this one. I am kind of going backwards here. I was going to show you how to take the... How to peel the paper off. And you might be thinking, oh, peel the paper off. How hard is that? <laughs> I actually have one that I started. And I thought, oh no, I don't want to do that. I want to wait until I get on camera to take that apart. And it is this one right here. So I'll show you. And all the sound effects include it. Oh, you know, let me do let me do these. Uh, let me do this one. Oh, are you not gonna come out? I might have to put a pin in you. Oh yeah. Okay. Of course, Crafters Monday and all. I was thinking, I hope there's nobody in the neighborhood trying to get to sleep. I think my next door neighbors on this side are trying to get to sleep. And the dogs are over there on that side. I know you were thinking last week, I do not hear a dog. There is, you are crazy. That I was talking about the dog. <laughs> That's the dog I was talking about. I've named the dog Shep. I don't know the name, the name of the dog, <laughs> but... It, since it's a German Shepherd, Shep sounds like a good name. Okay. It's kind of hard to move it on my gloves here. There's some resistance going on. So today I got a new course to set up. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't start until two weeks into the semester. So I, I have a little bit of time to gussy it up, so to speak. And tomorrow after editing the video and uploading, or possibly while it's uploading to the channel, I will, you know, start with changing the dates on my modules and things like that. Okay. So I want to make sure that it's flush against there. Now I could leave this undecorated, so to speak. I, I really do like the the look of the, the corrugated cardboard. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. So I, I kind of like the look of this. This is a little bit, or a lot, actually a lot lighter, right? And I see a little bit of overhang there that I'm going to attempt to Maybe slant off a little there. How's that look? <laughs> that look? Oh, that looks pretty good, actually. Okay, so that has to dry. I'm going to just do this. I'll let that dry. And I'm going to let that dry right there and show you this. Let me put the cap on this because I don't want it to clog again. This is Art Skills White Glue. It's actually very good. It's just like Elmer's Glue, Glue All, and Mod Podge, only it's a much thicker glue. It's probably the thickness of Elmer's Glue, is what I'm going to say. 
Okay, so this is just a basic flap from a box, one of the, a box I got today, as a matter of fact. And I just kind of uh, just went like this and then started it. And I thought, oh, no, I want to wait until I get on camera. So listen to the beautiful sounds of pulling the paper off of the corrugation here. Then also, while I'm pulling that off, I'm also curling it, and I want to curl it, especially since I'm making pen and pencil holders. The only thing is this left over, but that's actually not a problem because I can take that off. Another thing is to remove the paper. I can remove the glossy side here or the cardboard side here if I want to. I could probably color, if I decorated this, I could probably use alcohol ink markers on this if I wanted to. Or let's see, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see which one. I might not be able to take this apart. This might be very well glued. But the general idea is to put your put your fingernail in there. Preferably a fingernail. A knife might be too dangerous. I don't think I can pull this apart. Let's see if I have any others that are a little bit looser. Maybe this one. I thought I saw an opening here. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, what do we have? Can I get it? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a... Let's pray that it goes all the way across, right? ASMR. That is cool. <laughs> it also becomes much more flexible once that the first one of the layers is removed. Rather, not the first one, but when one of the layers is removed, then we have all kinds of possibilities. That's cool. This has lines. Let me see the lines. Oh, we have some paper left over here. It's hard to get, hard to get at it. We have that. Right, I already removed this one, so this could be. I was thinking about with these because they are. What do they measure? Okay, the flexible ruler says that I should measure from this side. Seven and three quarter inches long. Wow. Exactly. Just a hair less. About seven and three quarter inches long by four inches wide. So what I was thinking about doing was cutting this one in half and using these four I can use this one. roughly in half. Note I'm not measuring. <laughs> Now, if I don't want to scratch up my pretty little mat, I'm not sure if the the back side of this mat is self-healing. So, <laughs> so to err on the side of caution, I'm gonna do it on here. Ooh, right 
through the... Let me put my little thing back in here. Okay, so these little ones are good for uh, binder clips. I had a binder clip. I just had the binder clip. Oh, it was in... <laughs> for little binder clips. It was in the paper clip box. So what I do here to join this one together smoothly, uh, I didn't cut it so that it met it, you know, like here where it met it right next to it. To it. Um, I took my bone folder here. Oh yeah, there's too much stuff on my desk. Too much stuff, Tammy. Okay, I took the bone folder and I smoothed out these two little ridges, right? I thought I just did that. And then I could more easily glue it like this. And then it would be like flush here, I guess the word is flush. And this needs a little bit of a trim. So, do it like that. And another piece that I did, this one I already did. I flattened this one already. And I also cut that, cut that second ridge. I cut it open. So I'm going to do that right now. And then and then I trimmed off this little bit right here because it's still going to overlap and create that little ridge with this one I didn't have to do that it fit perfectly so and I, I, I think I remembered that earlier when I was messing around with this. And I thought, oh, I didn't have to do it with that one. Why do I have to do it with these? Because they weren't going down right. And then also maybe this one. Just put the little scissor blade in there. In that little hole there. And split the ridge open. Fold that back a little bit. And... Oh, I, I see that I'm also cutting. <laughs> I'm cutting the outer, outer edge there. That's okay. Okay, so then it's lying flat. And then I can just join it like this. Ta-da! Oh, then I'm thinking about... Cutting this off. Because <laughs> it's looking weird to me. Okay, let's see. Yeah, there we go. That, that'll look a little bit better. I think. So we have this. There we go. Alright, does that look about right? It does look wrinkled, but, you know, I am working with corrugated cardboard here. Okay. So this one, then I do this. I always store this upside down. I, I see I need to fill it again. Wow, I just filled it not too long ago. Gonna give me problems? I know it's Crafters Monday. <laughs> Come on. What did I say? My motto is talk always talk to your inanimate objects. I have another one. It's read a book 
and that's for my future students and past ones as well. <laughs> some are subscribed to my channel. Okay, some of my past students. Future, not yet. My goal is to get more subscribers than I have videos out. And I have a lot of videos. <laughs> I have over almost 400 videos on my channel. And I've been on the... I've had the channel since, I think, 2007. But I don't think I uploaded any videos right away. Because, you know, like, oh, I don't know if I want to just... Oh, I've, if I want to put videos on, I kind of hemmed and hawed for a couple of years. And I think my first video m might have been, I want to say 2000, no, 2009? No. You know, this might be my 10 year anniversary. <laughs> Maybe it was 2013 was my first video. Who knew? I should go back and check. In that case, happy anniversary to me. Okay. So, and I also started out, I didn't have, I didn't do a video every Sunday, I didn't upload a video every Sunday, and I was just like hit or miss, sometimes I would upload, sometimes I wouldn't. Yeah, that works. So that's how you make a little one anyway. And this one, I think I can, I can feel it, the glue glue on paper when it's not dry it's kind of cool it has a cool feeling to it not as in temperature wise not as in neato <laughs> and this I this feels a little bit still cool but I think I can glue it down onto my beautiful piece of cardboard so if I do that maybe I want to trim it trim it down hmm. I am thinking like I said I hate I'm not really crazy about making bases for round containers <laughs> okay there are a couple of ways to do it so with this one if I trace it I'm gonna use pencil like I'm gonna erase it in the <laughs> I'm not gonna... I'm not going to be able to erase it, but I'm going to use pencil anyway. <laughs> because it's going to be kind of ridgy, ridgy. <laughs> Hear it? I want it to be round. Now tell me when you cut this be very careful. I still have too much stuff here. I'm limited in my space here and I'm really surprised that I have all of this stuff out here. Crafting wise that's not my game. I'm not gonna see you see how the how I'm very crooked right there right there I am going to go out a ways just a little bit and if I mess up I guess I'll be doing this again <laughs> uh, I'm not too not too unhappy about it. I just keep doing it until I get it right. Do it until you get it right. Hurts my hand. Listen, compression gloves, you're supposed to be helping. I can hear Blue snoring. Blue snores high. Oh, look at that. It's artwork. Cool. 
I should save that. The dog says hi. <laughs> See? Ruff, ruff. Okay, how does that... Oh, you know? That actually looks pretty good. Like, I keep moving it. Wow. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Do I want that on the inside or the outside? Okay, it's a little bit crooked, but it's actually, and it's out a ways here. Is that the spot where... Oh. <laughs> out a, a ways... Yeah, let's see how that goes. Still out of ways. Would I be able to cut that when it's glued down? Tammy? <laughs> Tammy's asking herself. Would it bother me a lot? Also, what if I want to do the, the arrow? No. <laughs> No, I want to see nothing inside there. Cool. Okay. Now I have to... I should probably hot glue that, but uh, where's my hot glue gun? Okay, so I'm going to do it around the edge here instead of up there. If I use this glue, I do have a little bit of wiggle room instead of using, say, score tape or something. I'm gonna make sure I'm in viewing area. I am. I'm zoomed out. That's I, that's why I don't have to really pay so close attention to. Am I in the viewing area here? I do have to be careful. Be careful, Tammy. Don't get glue on your glove. Or sleeve. <laughs> okay, let's see how we're gonna do it. Oh, it comes the AC coming on, thank goodness getting a little warm a little warm here yeah just hold that here for an hour <laughs> No, not an hour. And this area might have to trim off a little right here. It's kind of sticking out, jutting out just a smidge. But, you know, I could probably take sandpaper. Oh. And kind of sand that down a little bit. Or even a nail file would probably work. Hmm. That's an idea. Now, I will probably keep this, and this will dry, it's, uh, it'll dry clear down there, so I'm not really worried about that. But I will probably keep this undecorated, just like this, and maybe make a series of them. That is an idea. Make a series of these, and do, you know, one that's this round, and maybe one that's much less round, like, uh, maybe one of these or something, like that, and then these as well, so these, the cuffs on these, if I decide to do the cuff method, they would be maybe like a quarter of an inch, and not almost an inch. Because then that would be way up here. <laughs> that would be ridiculous. Okay, did I cover everything? So you need box flaps. And you need glue. 
You can use hot glue if you want. Um, you can use even score tape if you wanted to go that route. You don't have to make them round. You could actually um, do it. You could fold this. This might be a little, little bit hard, but you could fold it maybe like this or something. And then you what? Isn't this a five-sided? You could do it like that, and just fold this, crease it. This is very easy to make squares. This uh, this thin cor corrugation here. And you could go with square ones as well. So, you know, like, uh, you can make triangular ones. So you can, the sky's the limit here, you know. Your imagination is the only thing that's stopping you from getting, doing something creative. Or just, this is a simple concept. I spent too long on it, but hey, that's, that's what I do. I think that's all I have for you today. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and have a creative day. Bye.